I'm sure you've seen the plentiful tutorials on how to build custom trees, but none of them are magical. So today I'm gonna show you how I built these awesome magical tree designs. So to start off this tutorial, we're gonna start with this fancy little copper tree. Now, the point of these trees is that they do not look natural. So obviously this is not a real tree shape. So let's go ahead and build this tree. So to start off this tree, go ahead and make a star shaped platform. So I just kind of did this little plus shape for the roots. And then let's pick a side that we want to build up. I'll just copy on this side and we'll build up the right side. So for this, you just kind of want to start building up this little tower, make it a little bit thicker so that the tree actually has some supports to stand on. Cause we want a little bit of realism, not too too much, but just a little bit. And then for the most important part, we want to have this little overhang piece because we want to make it look like it kind of curls funk funkily, funkily, that's not a word. So we've got this kind of curve shape here and we want to bring it just out a little bit farther like this and we'll break that piece. So we've got this kind of curve shape. Now here. for the actual quote unquote leaves, we're gonna need uh, prismarine slabs, copper blocks and copper stairs, uh, plus some chains and some lanterns just for decoration. So we're gonna take our copper blocks and we're gonna make just kind of a little platform here. This is gonna be like like the top of our leaves. This is the height of the tree. But what we really want to do is we want to make it look like we have this overhang here. We wanna make it look like the tree is kind of leaning forward. So we want this sort of overhang And to make it look a little less awkward on the inside, we're gonna put some slabs in there, some stairs. And what we really want is this kind of downward angle here. There we go. So we've got this kind of hanging shape like this. And then to make it a little bit textured, we can go ahead and throw in some stairs around. So this adds this little overhang piece here. I'm gonna actually put this on this end here instead. There we go. So we've got an extra little hanging piece right there. Put some slabs along the top here. And for our last detail, we throw in some chains and a lantern right there. And we'll put one, uh, we'll do a short one right here and a nice long one down here somewhere. We'll put it, we'll, we'll do here. There we go. There we go. We've got those lanterns and we're going to come back up on the top here. And we're going to add a little bit more shapeliness. We're going to wrap it a bit around here. Make it look a little bit fuller so it's not totally just sagging on the ground. We'll add some stairs here. And some more right there. There we go. That gives us a little bit of a fuller shape so it looks a little bit more like leaves. Uh, if you want, you can go ahead and kind of come through and break some pieces. That'll make it look a little bit more hollow. And like I said earlier, if you want to add some actual texture, I don't think this tree really needs it. But if you want some extra, extra fun additions, adding in some oak slabs and stairs, can make it look just a little bit more interesting. And plus you can extend your roots out a little bit farther with this as well. Make it look a little bit more overgrown. There we go. Here we have our nice overgrown tree. So our next tree here is actually a little bit more similar to a mushroom than a tree, but you get the point. This one would go great in a nether type setting, maybe in the actual nether or just a nether type build. So let's go ahead and show you how I built this. So I'm gonna start with, start with a trusty little red square. Trusty red square. So I started with this little bit of a platform here. And what we're really trying to go for is this kind of bulbous shape on the back. So we've got this kind of thick platform here. This is a uh, stripped crimson, th that word that I don't know how to pronounce. And so as we build up, we're kind of inching it back this way. And we have this little overhang, one block at a time, and we're building up and we're kind of curving it back. And we're building back up here. We'll break a piece there. And we're just trying to make it look bulbous. It's the best word I can think of. Once we've kind of got to a point where it's given us this nice curved shape, we can go ahead and start building up. And we wanna keep the stem kind of thick here. Not like this piece, not like this side. We don't want this type of curve, but we want it to be a bit thicker. So we'll start building it up. And as we're kind of curving up, we can kind of break these little inside pieces and get this little curve in here. And as we're coming up here, we wanna split this off into two different pieces. This will be kind of the pieces that hold our tree. So we're gonna hold, we're gonna, we're gonna put a little piece off there. Well, actually here. We'll do it like that. And we'll do another piece off this way. There we go. And I'm gonna put a little piece, um, how did it, it was on the back? Yeah, it was on the back. Okay, we'll put one kind of coming off this way. And one more up, there we go. 
And now we're gonna take some nether, uh, red nether bricks, um, some stairs and another brick slab. And we also have some nether wart blocks as well, but we're gonna kind of use that as detailing and some uh, ochre frog lights or the yellow ones. So the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna build up here a little bit. So this is still the same problem. <laughs> we know what we're gonna do, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm gonna fix this, I'm gonna scoot it over. <laughs> okay, so I've shifted it over a little bit so we have a little bit more room, that was my bad. But we're gonna kind of build out a little bit of a circle here and there really wasn't too much of a shape that I was following. I just kind of started building in general circle type shape like this. I'm gonna make sure it's hollow on the inside as well. There we go, kind of got a little circle right here. And we gotta do one, I'm gonna make this actually a little bit lower so that we have some variation. And we're gonna build this one out as well in a circle. No real, real rhyme or reason, just in a circle is shape. So we want it to kind of look poofy. There we go. And I must have gotten rid of my little my little sprig on the side here. So we're gonna put this back in and we're just gonna build a tiny circle for this one. Do kind of want to make sure we have a hollow inside there. So I'm gonna break this out. There we go. And we have our little circle shapes. So next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna build up here. So we're gonna come a one layer up above and we're just gonna kind of fill this in here just to kind of get that bulbous shape. I can't think of another word. Bul bulbous is not the correct word, but I don't have a better one. And then next <laughs> what we're gonna do is we're gonna break some pieces in here and we're gonna put in our frog lights. Now it's slightly blinding, but that's fine. So that when we come inside, it has this nice little glowing effect. And we're gonna make sure that we get enough all around the stem piece here. So we have this nice glowing effect on the inside, but now we have this blinding spot on the outside, so we're gonna cover that up with some more netherrack. So now we have this kind of mushroom looking shape, and we're gonna do the same for these guys. So for this little one, we don't have a lot of room. So what we really have to do is just kind of put those little pieces in there just because it's smaller. So we have to kind of kind of work with the room that we have. It will, when we put in the leaf, leafy pieces, it'll kind of cover it up. So it doesn't look so awkward like so what that. we're gonna do next is we're gonna make this kind of look poofy. So what we're trying to, we're trying to go for this curve shape. We're going for this, this big kind of standing out pieces. So what we're gonna do for that is we're gonna come around the back here and we're gonna build this downward. You can add a little bit to the front as well, but I like to have it be open just a little bit so that we can still kind of see the glowing effect. The back side should be a little bit longer than the front side. We just want to be able to see a little bit into the tree, but not too much. So we've kind of got this curved shape here. And then we're going to come around with our leaves. There's not leaves, but they're leaves. And we're just going to kind of build in the edge pieces like this. One of my favorite effects is this downward upward stair. This makes a really good kind of poofy uh, curved shape here. So we got a downward and an upward stair. And it really makes this nice poof shape here. And we'll kind of cover up our kind of blockiness up here with some more stairs. And so we've kind of got this poofing shape here. So now that we've got this done, we're gonna take our nether wart blocks and we're gonna come in and we're just gonna start filling in, oops, some corners here. Nothing crazy, you don't have to go overboard, just a little bit of color just makes all the difference. There we go, we can add a little bit more texture here as well. And we're gonna do kind of the same thing for the rest of our little poofs here. So we're gonna do a couple more spots in the back. And I wanna make sure on the inside that we have a bit of texture as well, because this we're actually going to be seeing a little bit more of. So when we look in, it's got this nice kind of curve shape here. So I wanna make sure we have a little bit of that without covering up the light, because we still need to have that lighting source be visible, but we need some shape. So we've got this one, and we're gonna put in some of our another warp as well. Doo -doo -doo, just kind of scattered around. And our last little poof. This one, because it's so small, we just wanna be kind of gentle with it. We just wanna add a little bit of curve right here. Yeah, we don't wanna go overboard. Because it's so small, a little goes a long way. And so now we have a little bit of a poof shape for our small one. And the best effect is this glowing effect here, this slight glowing effect on the pink logs. I think it looks amazing. And before we forget, because I'm going to, we're gonna put this in as well, get a little bit of color. And now for some final touches, we're gonna go around and take our crimson slabs and just kind of place them around the bottom and on the back as well to try and help with the gradient effect. There we are, and a little bit on the front, not overboard, just adding a little bit of texture to our tree. There we are, we'll add a couple pieces on the bottom. 
and we'll take our lanterns and hang them around and a couple on the stump. And here we have our nice little nether tree. So because our next trees use moss, they look a little bit more tree-ish, but you know what? It's fine. So let's get started on how to build, I don't know what to call these, tall boys. Dr. Seuss S. So let's get our trusty red square. So we're gonna pick a couple different spots. This one works best if you have a couple different trees because they look really cool in this sort of, um, this foresty thing. If you just have one, it looks a little bit out of place. So we got our three little spots here and we're just gonna start building it up. And the signature thing about these is that they kind of just shift and go up in random directions. So we're gonna make, this one will be a little bit of a spiral, I guess. There we go. And this, we'll say this is where our tree is. Then we'll build up two, two or three blocks with the frog lights and then two blocks with our moss. And then we'll go down to here. So we make this little shape and then we'll go down and out one and we'll go down two in the middle here and three out like this. Actually, no, I think I have that backwards. No, yeah, I have that backwards. Three on this side and two on the front here. And we'll break that piece there so we can still get the frog lights. But we need this to come down three here. Make sure you break that inside block. Down and out two. Oops, down and out three. Down and out two. Three. And, two. and so we've got our little tree. And to make this look a little bit less blocky, um, I like to put these fences on top. It just makes it extend a little bit farther. It makes it look a little bit more natural. And then we'll go around on the bottom sides of our stem here and place a couple lanterns and take our fences and make this a little bit more of a trunk. There we are. Here's our little spire tree. And we'll build the same thing kind of over here, just with these little, these little turns in here just kind of randomly scattered in yeah we'll say this one is a little short guy so we'll place our frog lights and our moss and this is the same as the other tree and we're gonna get our lanterns again there there and our stem and for our last one, we're gonna do a branching one. So we're gonna build this one up a little bit taller and then here, and we'll say our branch happens here. So we'll split one off this way and one off this way. So we'll have this one kind of go up a little, actually we'll have this one be shorter cause we have this one in the way. So we'll put build this one just kind of out. We'll say right there is our tree. And then this one, we're gonna build out and up farther. There we are. And so let's build our short one. This one, we're just gonna do a one moss block and two of our little moss things there. And this one, we're gonna make a little bit shorter. So we're just gonna do this here. And if you want it to be really small, small, you can just put those on the sides there and you've got the nice tiny little tree. And I think we'll just leave it like this. On this side, I did this kind of little extendy here. So it's the same sort of pattern as this, but it's a block shorter. So it's got this kind of little bit of a poof, but it's, Still small, I'll just go with that little piece right there. So it looks nice and tidy. And don't forget the little fence on top. I forgot to do that over here. Now let's do our big guy up here. So we're gonna do three little frog lights and I'll make this one a little bit taller. We'll do three there. And the same thing as the other trees down here. There we are, and our fences on top. Now we'll come down here and we'll put our lanterns. And don't forget our little stem. There we are. And with these little finishing touches, these are, I don't know what to call these, our Dr. Seuss trees. There are Dr. Seuss trees. All right, so this next tree is a bit larger than the other ones. I went a little overboard, I will admit. I also have some options here because I really liked both of these designs, but they're different, they're completely different vibes, but both are good. Both are good, I like them both. So I wanted to show you both of them. So we have this really big tiered tree here. We have red sandstone, slabs, and the sandstone stairs as well as acacia stairs. And then for the stem, I've got quartz, slabs, and stairs. And then for these extra decorations, it's soul lanterns and chains or shroom lights. Now the lanterns very much give a fantasy type vibe. So this would kind of match a more medieval setting versus the shroom lights that give more of a magical vibe. So these would go in a nice glowing forest. Both are cool. I really like both of them, but they are, they definitely work in different settings. They're definitely for different instances. So. 
I just put both in here and I'll show you how to build both of them. So we need a lot of room to build this because it's rather large. So we're gonna come way out here. So we've got our trusty square right here and this starts off with a little star. So unlike a lot of our other trees, this one is not reliant on curves. This one very much builds just straight up, but we've got our little star sort of shape here and we're gonna build it up. So this goes up pretty tall. So we're gonna try and make it nice and tall here. And we just kind of layer up like this. So this looks a little bit awkward. So I'm gonna come in and I'm gonna fill in some spots down here. Just make this a little bit thicker. So it looks just a little less uncomfortable, just like this. There we go. Now we have a little bit of a thicker stem like this. And we'll come in and we'll stick some stairs around and some slabs as well. So we've got this little thing here and now we're gonna kind of split off for our different branches here. So this is pretty simple. We're just kind of building out and up, out and up until we get to about there. And then out and up and out and up. All right, so now that we've got these branches, we're gonna come in the middle here and we're gonna build up a couple blocks and then we'll do the up and out one more time, but this time in this sort of corner like this. And this look, this will look a little bit weird. These kind of branches, they're gonna look a little uncomfortable because diagonals are a bit harder to get looking right, but it doesn't really matter as long as you kind of get this line shape doesn't super matter what it looks like. And so now we have our stem. You're gonna wanna hold on to your quartz block because you will have to make some edits later on. As you put in the circles, you'll have to come in and fill in the spots where your stem is. It, it gets a little awkward, so you wanna hold on to your quartz. But next we're gonna take our smooth sandstone and we're gonna start making a circle just like on that Though one. Though we we're not going for a full circle. What, you, what shape you really wanna go for is kind of a rose petal, uh, you know, a flower petal, teardrop shape almost. You wanna go nice and out, but keep this part kind of small. We go out, 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 and scoot in like this. So we have this sort of petal shape. All right, so we've got our petal shapes here, and now we're basically gonna do the same thing with this, but it'll be a much, much smaller. So this comes out to be a bit more like a circle rather than a petal shape, but you kind of get the, you kind of get the same idea. There we are, and we'll do the same over here. So I filled this in here, but do want to have a little bit of a hollow shape. It just helps later on. So you have this kind of gap here. So I'm gonna break this out just a little bit. So we have this open area here. I'm actually gonna bring these out just a little bit farther. We need a little bit more, a little bit more space. There we are. Now we have some nice petals. All right, so the next step is to add on some layers. So they have a nice little roof. So we're gonna do one more layer inside like this, but we're not gonna fill it in all the way. So we're just gonna do one border kind of around the edge like this. So we have this nice little border and we're gonna do the same on all of them. So for these top pieces, we're gonna go ahead, we're not doing just the border. We're going to fill in these entirely so they have a nice little lid. So these are filled in solid, just like that, so they make a little cap. And we're gonna go down here and do the exact same. So this layer is our final and layer. And we're gonna do the same on all of them. So now all of our petals should have this nice little bubble shape. And if you notice, we need to fix our stems here. There we go. I like to bring them all the way across just to make it look like they're really holding up the pieces. I'm gonna cross right there. There we are. 
There we go. And now our pieces are actually being held up by our branches. Now, so the next thing we're gonna try and do is add in some texturing. So this edge here needs to be all upside down stairs. And because when we have the right side upstairs, it gives this sort of poofy look, which is not what we're going for. We want this nice extended look. We want it to kind of reach out farther. So we want to extend the stairs out farther like this. So it almost gives this tapering look like and so. And try and switch between acacia and red sandstone blocks because they add a nice little bit of texture. They don't have to be everywhere. They don't have to be, you don't have to go overboard, but it does add a nice little bit of color. Now on the top, we'll just add some right side upstairs to try and smooth this out, make it a little bit softer, just like this. And we can add some slabs at the top just to add a little bit more height. There we are. And now we have our little petal. I'm gonna break these pieces back up here just so we have a full kind of extend this way. We want, we want this to extend as far out this way as possible. We want it to be rather short up here. So we have this nice poofy looking leaf here. And we're just gonna kind of mimic this on all the sides here. The upside down stairs. Now that we have our designs placed all over here, we're gonna go up to our top pieces here and basically do the exact same thing, just on a smaller scale. There we are. And now we have our final little petals. Now this is where I have a little bit of variation. So let me go pick, pick the blocks. So we're I gonna used. do a combination of both of these just so I can show you how I did both of them. So we're gonna start with our shroom lights. This was super, super simple. I just filled in this gap here and added a couple of little pieces out here and then added a bit of a curvature on the inside just to make it look a little bit more natural. There we are. And we just have this nice little glowing effect. These ones can look a little awkward. So I try not to put too many there, but th those two can stay. We'll put a couple back here actually. There we go. So now we've got some scattered we're lights. We're just gonna do the same on one more little piece. We'll fill in our little gap here. There's really are your best friend with this build. They are perfect little leaves. And there we go. That is what our little glowing, sort of magical mushroom almost looking trees look like here. We'll do the same up at the top with these guys. Now for our lanterns, we're gonna do basically the same thing with the curvature on the inside, just putting in some stairs for some texture. But instead of shroom lights, we're gonna hang some lanterns. I'm gonna do, uh, I'm gonna do four with, on. oops. I'm gonna do four lanterns on this, uh, this little petal here. So we'll have four different spots with chains all at different lengths. We'll have one nice long one here and a little short one right there. So for our little pieces up here, we do one or two lanterns, but not too many. We keep it nice and short. We'll put two little chains right there and just like that. Just keeping it a little bit shorter, Oop. three there. And on this one is the same as the other one. I added a bit more lanterns here just to add some variety. And here is our completed tree. Now this tree is much, much simpler. And it does look a little bit more like a normal tree, but uh, whatever, magic trees are magic trees because I say they're magic. Let's get anyway. our trusty square. Trust red square, complete. Now, this is super, super simple. So we have a nice small square. So basically, stem, done, roots, pretty. Build it up a little farther, and copper, copper, copper. Boom, <laughs> this is the general, this is the shape that we start with. Super, super easy. And we'll kind of build this out a little farther so we get a tree shape. And then we go down one and out. 
And this shape is a little bit more circular. This we're kind of building out and out. Make sure you're using waxed copper, by the way. You're gonna kick yourself when it starts turning blue. <laughs> if, you, if, you, if you use the wrong copper, it'll start turning blue on you and then you'll be sad. So here is our nice, it almost kind of looks like a palm tree or a, um, or a canopy. The next piece that we're gonna do is we're gonna take our stairs and we're gonna kind of alternate between upside down and right side up. Upside down, right side up, right side up, upside down. Just switching back and forth to give ourselves a nice little varied leaf texture. Just like this. And then up at the top, we're just gonna layer in our stairs like this. And around the top, and we'll stick in some slabs. There we go. And then one of the most important pieces, we need to make sure this actually has some room to show, by the we'll way. Stick some slabs in here and around this bottom so we get a little bit of a curvature. Here, I'm gonna replace that with a, uh, with a stripped log, and then we're gonna put in some more of our mangrove, mangrove, ugh, mangrove, mangrove? Man Why does that word not feel real? Don't forget to add your slabs in like this so we have a bit of a down, downward side like this. And finally, we just stick in some lanterns for the extra magical look. Ta-da! Super, super simple, very, very quick and easy. For our very last little tree, we're switching up the vibes a little bit and we have a nice dark tree here. Now for this one, you're gonna need some deep slate box blocks and some of the dwarf did the warped, the word that I can't pronounce, you know, that one. And let's get our square. Now for this one, we're starting a, yet again with our star pattern, but for this, we're just gonna build straight up just like this. So here's our little stem. We're gonna build this up just a little bit farther. So that is our actual like stem holding the leaves. And then we're gonna come back down here and put in some texture, extend our roots. You know the drill by now. Put in our stairs and our slabs. Now up here, we're gonna build up, uh, we're only gonna build up uh, two blocks here and we're gonna do a little star pattern like this. And then down here, we do a bit of a circle. This one's a little bit smaller than the rest. And what we're really kind of going for is this sort of lopsided shape. So we want one side to be a little bit wider than the other. And then we can come down one block here and build it out in a circle-ish shape around the edge. So we've got this kind of weird lopsided, almost mushroom looking shape. And before we get too far, let's put in a couple of these blocks here. And let's put in our frog lights as well. Now these, uh, we're gonna put some slabs around it just so it covers it just a little bit. We want the light to be very minimal here. Although we do want the glowing effect, we don't want it to be too overly magical looking because we kind of want, we almost want like an evil, an evil look from this. And we'll extend some fences here kind of covering it up like that. Now for the funnest part, the hanging pieces, just like this. Super, super basic. Just little hanging pieces. We can actually come in and stick some, uh, stick some chains in here as well in a and minute. And that will add a little bit of um, texture difference. So just a little bit around in here. Don't have to go too overboard, just a little bit of texturing like that. And we can add a little bit of slabs. I added a couple on the bottom of these. It can look a little awkward, but I think it looks nice. And then up top, we're gonna take our cobbled deep slate uh, stairs and just add in our texturing around. You know the drill, you know the drill. And a little bit of the edge pieces here and stick some slabs in on the sides as well, just like this. Super, super simple, super quick and easy, and it looks like a nice little dramatic tree. And with that complete, that is our magical tree tutorial. I hope you did enjoy, and I hope these were helpful. There are plenty of custom tree tutorials out there, but none of them have that special little magical vibe. If you built these in your world, I would love to see them. You can send them to me on my over on my Twitter here. I hope you did enjoy, and if you did, please like and subscribe. It takes two seconds, and it really helps me out. Happy treeing, and that's not a real verb, but whatever. Happy treeing, and I'll see you next time.